Okay, uh, we have our new, our new Corsair uh, CX600 power supply. This right here is for the system that goes right there. It's actually sitting right there. So I've got everything out and ready for us to install our new Corsair. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's always nice to have something sharp handy so you can bust open some plastic. Okay. So we got our power cable, which we do not need that because I've already got one down here that's already routed. We got all of our ties, which is really nice. They always come in handy. So let's see what our Corsair looks like. Ah, nice. You can smell that power. Literally, you can smell the power. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yep, this is everything that we need. So let's go ahead and get this unwrapped. And uh, if anybody ever wonders what this stuff is, this stuff right here is to help keep moisture out of your electronics. So if you're ever going to store anything, make sure you go out and get some of these. Okay, so this is all of our goodies. And uh, yeah, that ought to be enough to do what we need. So let's go ahead and get this ball on the roll here. Okay. Okay, uh, what we got here is uh, we're going to remove this. And hopefully everything should be able to fall out uh, nicely, we hope. And hopefully everything will go in just as nicely. So I'm going to get out the old one. Okay. Alright, so... Thing is very nasty in here. Okay, so that gets all of that out. And uh whew, very nasty in there. So okay. We need to get this. That was a pain to get it on, but I was able to do it. Let's see here. Uh, you just got to get this top screw in right here, and then this one right here fit in. But, uh, yeah, that's all that's needed. Put that up. Snug it right into place. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do is get this plugged in. Turn around the right way. Okay. 
Okay. You scared me for a minute there. This is a 20 plus 4, so you have to get a 20 plus 4 in order for this to work. Okay, so now, uh, let's see. We got to put one over here, and we need one over here as well, so. And then you got a full eight right here. Let's see if this one will come apart. Yep, good. Okay, so the eight will come apart so that you can use it. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and slide this one on. Okay, so that's got that on. And then we want our Okay, so these, let's set these right over here for right now, and let's grab a hold of them two, and okay, so we'll take these two, bring these over here, and I really need to vacuum out some of this dust, so I'm going to pause this while I vacuum out some of this dust. Okay. Well, as you can tell, everything's a lot cleaner now. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this. Okay, we... Awesome. We got more uh, power for our... Let's see if we can actually reach. Now, we're not going to be able to reach them both over like that crap so uh, yeah maybe we take this one okay we're gonna have to go in a different way because I'm gonna need this one right here for my CD-ROM drive so I've been without a CD-ROM drive for a while so let's go ahead and plug this in here and then plug this one in here okay so all right well, that's basically got them taken care of so the only thing I need to do now is just come over here and plug in here the only thing that I need now is another cable here and I've got one somewhere okay so let's hope it's long enough let's go ahead and put it on here and then run it underneath here with this Like this. Okay. So now everything will be run. So I've been without a CD-ROM drive for a while because of my 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 two set of drives here was taking up all of my my power. So we got that taken care of. Good storage place for that. But that takes care of that. Uh, whew, so next thing I do is power it up, make sure that everything works right, and then. Uh, We'll see you after I've got everything hooked back up.